All right, here's a little review on the cables that uh, Big Battery decided to use. I was talking about this, I think, in another video. So um, this is the original cable with the Anderson 175 connector made by whoever, Sheng ND. Uh, don't know what that means. And this is uh, Wang Dong. SED Co Limited. So I guess SED, I guess that's the company name. Four gauge, two hundred degrees Celsius, and blah blah blah. And as you're probably reading the, as I read that one, this is now polar wire, um, one double odd, uh, well resistance six hundred volt. Bunch of specifications: Arctic Ultra Flex Blue, minus fifty five Celsius to one hundred and five CSA. Kenny standard approved, blah, 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 105 degrees Celsius. So I had this built. This is a 175 amp connector again. And uh, I went to Harness Masters in Edmonton, Alberta to have these built. Each one of these cost uh, 196, pretty much $200 to properly carry the current from these batteries because these batteries are pigs. They, uh, they can send a lot of power. They can 100, send 150 amps continuous up to 350 amps until the um, BMS will disconnect for too much output for six seconds. 350 for six, it boop, shuts itself down, which is pretty good because that's damn high. So 150 amp continuous um, is a lot of juice. Now, when you're running four gauge, what's really interesting is our sizing of the cables is very, very close. So this four gauge is almost the size of one odd. Um, yeah, it would, I would say this would match, this four gauge would match a one gauge uh, in exterior diameter. So clearly they have the four gauge cabling inside, um, but they're running extra insulation to handle the 200 degrees. You run these cables up to 200 degrees and then you're running up to your terminal connect points or if you're going right into a battery and you're running 200 degrees up that terminal it's not just the wires that are going to be cooking on nothing's on everything's shut off guys i know there's safety guys oh you got a ring on oh my gosh i know it's good practice take your ring off uh everything's down nothing's connected batteries aren't even plugged in solar's not even on the rooster's gonna die um so yeah, if you're connecting directly to an inverter, now this is the Snyder system, um, you're sending all that heat. That heat's not ending in the cable and not continuing to the to the, the, the battery, battery clamps. It's going right on up and sending into the terminal. You're running all the lows are at a high rate. So inside this panel, there's a minimum 90 degree Celsius capable cap capacity or capability rating on the wires. Now what's really interesting is I copied I copied the um, Schneider's uh, choice of using the polar wire ultra arctic um, ultra flex. Um, I think they said it's blue too. Yeah, it's still called blue even though it's red. So black and red and all that, it's all the same. These guys are made out of Alaska, uh, American company. Harness Masters is the distributor in our area. Um, and these are truly capable of carrying the current. They can carry 175 amps continuous. I've done all the researches on uh, wiresizecalculator.com, omnicalculator.com. I went to three different sources to verify the wire size that would be required, actually required, to run these in going into a wireway. So once you, if you're sitting freer, these cables can actually handle it. But obviously that's how it's designed to connect is plug it in here and these cables are just sitting free out in the open air in a, in a you know, what's the STC standard testing is 25 degrees Celsius. So if your room is at 25 degrees Celsius, um, great, fantastic. These can just like kind of just maybe handle it. They will superheat. If you, this thing starts pumping out extra heat because it can give out higher amperage for a shorter period of time and eventually the thermal overload switch will pop and battery will shut down saying too much heat, too much current. But the, your cables are going to be cooking hot. Um, I don't trust that long term. I'm looking at building a you know, 30, 40, 50 year system here and your insulation, you heat and cool, heat and cool after that many decades, you're going to degrade your insulation. So you don't want to run high heat by running larger conduit uh, conductors you're not going to heat up. These guys ran four double, 
from the from the inverter to the battery connect point so um that's saying something right there that they're running the proper appropriate size they're running four gauge for the ground uh in the back here that green guy they're running six gauge for the ac uh, 60 amp flow in this range and yes big battery has a, a post out saying oh we run small wire because we can because it's it's all dependent on the length you run as well okay yeah i agree i made six footers they have 40 42 inches because i wanted a bit more length so i can move my batteries wherever have a bit more flexibility get some spacing between for thermal to, uh, thermal loss um but this yes you can do it but you literally have to connect directly to a bus bar keep it free air you cannot put it in burial you can't put it in cable you can't put it in conduit you can't put it in raceway you can't do anything else with it you cannot guard this from from physical damage potential uh which i'm going to be i'm going to have my wires going up inside a wireway to guard them so that nobody can get anything to touch these um so that they're 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 safe i mean essentially i could come out here have a plastic pv um 3d printed shielding come right meet right up to this even somewhat clip on or hook onto these edges of the, the of the anderson connector guarding the wires as they come into the box once they're in the box now we're in a we're in a raceway so now the temperature difference changes again so you're now raising the temperature coefficient inside that chamber so you can't run these because you're no longer free air and that's where they're making mistakes i believe i don't th i don't think they're doing the right thing by running such small systems whether well, they can turn around and just run the same size connector they don't have to go change that all around um but this is about i think you can get up to a two watt if you had to run longer range but um this is as big as you could go there was something about the two watt cable having a limit of uh 36 volts I, we don't know what that meant so i stopped at one odd one out is more than enough 175 amp continuous it'll it and it'll hold a beautiful temperature so it's going to be neat i'm going to be doing thermal testing in the future to see what these heat up to i'll run these as well to see what they'll run up to uh and do a direct comparison honestly it, it'll be uh uh it'll be interesting because i still have the three originals which is psychotic i mean it's it's a waste of money uh six hundred dollars to build all three of these so it's a big investment it's it's goofy when they don't do what they should do so if big battery sees this take a look guys just just do better like this is not this is not cool uh, i think that's that's pushing the limit of safety um because the batteries do have a potential to output high high current uh continuously when you're running a, a big load so Longer video, you all know if you've seen my other videos, I run long videos. Um, outside of that, oh, I got this new toy. Absolutely love it. Um, it is the Astro AI, I believe. Yeah, the CM600. Damn, it is absolutely glorious. Holds the pin so you can do your testing. You can get in there, hold one up in there like that and then do your negative and so you can you you got two hands so you can actually work it and uh the automatic range setting um you know we're in dc it's automatically in dc which is uh, sorry about the reflection there we go it's automatically in dc you go to function jumps over to ac it's wonderful it was such a good test and then i've got um the dc amp test so you can um you can do uh well, here's the thousand amp in ac or dc so you've got the wave if people don't know what that means the wavy is your ac it's uh phase current and then your straight line is dc so we can test both up to a thousand amp of test um so if you actually want to test a battery to see how your car's working this can do that so you set it on to dc which we've got dc auto mode here you open your claw and you put it around one conduit and then the, that uh, sorry conductor that conductor would you can only put one you can't put two in um you do it with ac or dc and you can test your load output on your battery coming out of your starter see what's happening if there's a draw you know just burning when your car's turned off you have parasitic draw you can see what's going on so i had a, a nice little one i didn't realize it didn't have dc i saw amp testing and i didn't realize it didn't do dc testing so great little unit it's good little household unit it's wonderful i liked it but just needed more capacity and this one is um 
and it was like 60 75 bucks so definitely worth buy the good one buy it buy a nice one i know you can get into klein 150 200 bucks and they're wonderful i mean klein's a beautiful company they have good stuff but i'm quite happy with this guy it's uh it's awesome you even got a little light push the button on the side and it lights turns a light on up here so you can see what you're reaching into if you're working live uh you definitely want to be able to see everything you're going to be touching um all right there you go i hope that helps just a quick review there was another youtuber um i think his thing was dumb grunt 0311 um i'm just responding he was questioning the wire size and he had little huskies and then he had a big kong elite max which it can output the same output but it's a 19 kilowatt battery these are 15s um so it's a beast there's a lot of power there and um yeah he was questioning the wire size so hopefully he gets to see this review i'll send a link a message over to him and that's what i did and i personally what recommended i saw he had two little girls as he was moving his battery upstairs and you've got a family it's in your house make sure you're safe because um i don't think this is safe all right have a good one guys